That right there is my brand new Volkswagen Tiguan. We love it. Just got it, although it is missing one important feature. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Thanks for checking in to SAMTB. And today I'm going to be talking about a brand new bike carrier rack I just got for my new car. So I think that this is the deal of the century. I think this is the best bike rack you can buy for your car. If you're looking for a two car, I mean, I'm sorry, a two bike rack. It's by BV. It's called a two bike hitch carrier. It's literally the name on Amazon. It's called. It comes in this box and it is supposedly made by um, Bike Pack USA. Although the packing did mention something about it being made in China. But anyway, you can uh, draw your own conclusions on that one. Um, it's $149.59 uh, is when I bought it. I bought it actually back in February, right before I broke my collarbone and my uh, my arm. comes really well packed. Um, package is probably about 50 pounds. I think the way it comes, it's uh, the, the rack itself is about 37 pounds, uh, which is really a heavy duty little pack everything's laid out and there's probably only about a dozen parts to this thing so if you're fairly mechanically inclined and you can read some instructions or if you've ever put anything together at, at, from ikea then this will be a piece of cake for you uh, the parts are all laid out they come in uh, separate little packages for each part which is nice um, and what is also a nice little bonus was that all the tools that were needed in order to put this together were included which is a nice bonus nowadays you know as things are getting cheaper and cheaper it's nice that they kind of include all these things um, it fits together really well like who, whoever made this and designed this they they took their time and it's not just a piece of junk you know they weren't just looking to throw something together to get your money um, somebody actually thought this thing through it's a very well made feels really solid like I said it, it weighs in at about uh, 37 pounds itself um, it is uh, set for two bikes now the same company uh, BV also makes a four bike carrier I don't know much about that it, it looks um, very similar to this other than the fact that it just has a an additional stanchion that comes out from the back and extends it out uh, it's even further out and so you can get four bikes on that but in any case, this thing went together really easy, maybe 15 or so minutes in total to put this whole thing together. Um, I did do this in sort of like two parts. So you'll see I got these these stanchions on, uh, one on the left, one on the right, and then this uh, upward post that actually folds down. So the first thing you kind of do is just fold that up when you get the bike. Um, next was uh, the the tools that came with it um, they were great I mean the only thing I did was I got my own wrench um, at one point simply because it's just so much easier I mean but if you didn't have a wrench and you literally just had this package show up to an empty warehouse <clears throat> you could put this together there uh, without any other tools um, and so I just kind of used this additional wrench just because it was made life a lot easier for me. But like I said, I was pretty impressed that all the tools came with it. The Allen wrenches and wrenches all came with it. So there is this one piece on here I want to mention. And again, that's my own uh, Allen wrench there. But you, they, they did have it, uh, or Allen wrench for that. Um, this is an adapter for a two-inch hitch. Now, my Tiguan has a... Uh, a one and a quarter inch hitch which probably most cars and smaller SUVs will have but this is set uh, from the manufacturer it comes together with it set to go into a two inch receiver so you just unscrew those two bolts there pops right off it's a nicely done piece of aluminum actually um, and uh, you just take those screws out and pop down the side keep that someplace safe in case you ever get a bigger truck you know you got your eye on a nice Tahoe or something that'll come in handy uh, in order to make things a little bit easier on myself, I just uh, I brought this out to the car and I actually uh, unfolded it, got it set up and uh, mounted it on the car just to make it easier to put these uh, what I'm going to call the wheel baskets um, on the rack. 
And you'll see here in a minute <laughs> why it was much easier putting this on the car than trying to do this uh, with it just kind of loose. So it slides on first time, super simple. Um, I'll give you a little close up of the hitch and the pin they give you actually is a screwed in pin. So that's kind of nice, a little added security and uh, safety. Um, these little baskets, they slide on with a little bit of effort. Um, they don't actually just go on super easy. You actually have to apply some pressure when you get these on here. You may feel like, oh, I'm not quite sure I'm doing this right, but um, trust me, you are. Just line them up. Uh, make sure that the, uh, you know, the tighteners are loosened when you try and do this the first time. And then just push. Just give it some elbow grease. Give it a good push and it will go on, I promise. So uh, there's two lefts, obviously, and two rights, and they're kind of offset from each other. So um, you just get the first one on there, and then uh, you're gonna kind of repeat the pattern on the other side, so just remember which goes which way. It's pretty simple. And uh, when you put it on there, it just you kind of get them lined up, and you just give them a push and wiggle them a little bit the first time you put them on there. They are a little sticky, but uh, I assure you they'll go on, you know, just with a little applied pressure. Make sure you tighten those down once you have those on there. And then you're going to need to do some realigning once you actually have your bike set and you can figure out exactly where to line those up. The nice thing is once you have them set the first time, uh, unless you've got you know a friend over, you're picking somebody up with their bike, uh, once your wheel you know lengths are set, um, that's it. You shouldn't really have to have to move them ever. So, um, but it is nice to have that flexibility if you get a new bike, or if you're, like I said, you're riding with somebody else uh, and you want to throw a second bike on there, um, you can easily adjust those once they're on. So just uh, give them a little wiggle, give them a push, and you're all set to go. And then, like I said, make sure you lock those down once they're on there and you have them set, but you can kind of do that. You can kind of just get them hand tight now. Um, there are two hooks that go on this uh, vertical stanchion. And uh, just to give you a hint, uh, the long necked one, so the longer of the two goes on first and it faces the car, if you have it on the rack. Um, if not, it just faces the hitch, however you want to think of it. Um, that is not so easy. I had a bit of a uh, an effort took a little bit of extra elbow grease if you will and uh, I do have a rubber mallet and I should have used it <laughs> but I was afraid to break anything so I kind of just kept pushing and wiggling but um, it did take a little bit of a little more effort to get those on there and ironically those are going to be the things that you actually have to move more often you're going to have to lift those and lower them every time you put a bike on and want to take it off the second hook just was a pain it, it was really tight the cap that covers the top of this vertical stanchion just was just ever so like oversized so I kind of had to like just rub it down a little bit with a little sandpaper and then I put a little bit of grease <clears throat> on the inside of this hook and then it kind of slid on once I got it on there it kind of slid on no problem but initially getting it on there, you may have to play with that a little bit. Just giving you a heads up. Um, but I'm not taking anything away from this rack. I mean, this rack is very well built. Um, I saw racks twice the price that were not half as nice as this rack. Even had this little like safety like clips on the very ends of these, uh, you know, your, your horizontal stanchions just to make sure. I mean, I, I can't see these things ever sliding off, but it just was a little bit of an extra, you know, safety effort. And that's what it looks like. Um, there was one little thing. There's only one reflector on the back of this thing, but um, slips right in there. And I'm uh, going to just take a peek at uh, just throwing a bike on here and seeing how easy it is to get a bike onto this thing. Basically, once you've got your wheels lined up, which was pretty easy to size up, you just drop your wheels in there and lower that uh, top hook. And um, that's it. You're set. There are two straps, heavy-duty Velcro straps um, on the hoops, uh, the tire hoops there. And you just slide those around there. They just slide through these little... Um, eyelets they have and it just folds back over and once that is pushed down there I mean that is solid 
it looks really sturdy um, and that's a really heavy duty velcro that's just not going to go anywhere um, you probably could you know you wouldn't want it to happen but it probably could just hold the bike just with those but you just um, push those that one hook down there and if you do have a you know a full squish bike you may want to just squish it a little bit and then tighten that uh, hook down there and that bike is good to go I mean, it is going nowhere looks really sharp um, kind of get some close-ups here on it what it looks like when it's sitting in the uh, in the tire cradles and with the hook on there this was the uh, school the uh, Scott spark and um, it's got I think the 2.4 tires on there these hoops are set to accommodate up to three inch tires so you can't put necessarily a fat bike on this but if you got up to 2.8 um, tires on there you should have no problem um, getting those in those hoops and it being uh, pretty really secure um, got a little quick little peek down here and you'll get another look at what the uh, that little um, hitch looks like down there it's got you can see the pin and all is down there So now we have two reflectors. Um, I picked these up because looking at the back of this rack and it's just black. I mean, it's just pitch black. And I'd imagine in night, the way your brakes line up and everything with this rack, nothing's really standing out. So um, I just kind of sprayed it down a little bit because it had this like kind of residual like filament, uh, like some kind of something on it couldn't quite tell what it was but it certainly wasn't helping sliding anything but uh, I just thought I'd kind of wipe this thing down a little bit here give it a good spray wipe it down and then um, when I applied the reflectors I was pretty confident that they weren't going to go anywhere so give this a good wiping and um, it did have some kind of you know spray or something on it my wife pointed out to me um, and so I got these reflectors on there and uh, it really looked sharp so you got that one thing that came with it but then these additional sort of reflector tape really um, helps it stand out at night and uh, you know you got this thing sitting three feet off the back of your car um, it'd be pretty miserable if someone like just kind of didn't notice it and kind of short did a short stop and smashed into the back of your brand new rack in your brand new car so um these things really helped i think uh made it stand out it does this rack flips up as well and um so i made sure that the reflector tape went all the way around in the locations that i knew that it would benefit from that so which is pretty much every place you see here except for obviously that one flat spot right there above the other reflector so there you go there's a quick look and review of the BV two bike hitch mounted bike carrier. Um, in my opinion, in dollar for dollar, pound for pound, it's the best bike carrier out there. Um, take a look at it, see if you agree. Let me know if you agree, you don't agree. If you got something better, let me know. And um, I, as I mentioned, I will leave a link uh, to this bike carrier in the description below. It is an affiliate link, just so if anyone's out there wanting to help support the channel, um, you can purchase through that link there, and I might think I get a couple bucks for that, actually. So I'd appreciate that. Thanks for um, June joining in today, and I will see you guys out on the trail soon, I hope, with my brand new bike, which I will be letting you guys know and revealing next week, coming soon.